Good morning. Let's study EXM. Okay, here we have the chart going back to 1989. But uh, this is strange that it looks like there was uh, some interruption here. Uh, so let's check a more recent chart, the medium term chart. Well, you can see this trend is really bullish and powerful. Here we had the golden cross with the 50 days moving uh, above the 200 days moving average and this, the stock never stopped ever since. Uh, in fact, I, I believe I held it here uh, but didn't make uh, any money at all, uh, I guess. And then we had this pullback but now another bull, bull run. Uh, volume was very high over the last two, two days as you can see. Uh, s uh, over the short term, well, this this trend is extremely bullish. But there's no doubt about it. The stock is technically bullish. As for fundamentals, uh, here we have the number of shares outstanding since '97 until 2007. Uh, the share count was 4.4 million in '97, and it is 19.9 million now. The market cap was 16 million and it is 529 million now. Uh, but uh, so there, there was uh, some 7% a year dilution here. But uh, it, the share count has remained stable over the past three years. And also here we had this period of five years where the share count didn't change. Uh, so I don't expect much dilution over the short term at least because the financial condition is quite healthy now as we'll see next. Uh, the market cap since 1999 when it was 25 million is growing 48.8% a year. 529 million now so this is this has been a terrific investment long-term investment since uh, 99 okay as as for the balance sheet here we have a long-term debt and the current ratio long-term debt is 187 million now and the current ratio is 2.4 so um, I don't see a short-term liquidity problem here and because also because cash and marketable securities account for 89% of total current assets and I, I like this okay moving on to revenues uh, revenues for the, 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 the growth was unstable as you can see here there was this period where revenues declined from 2000 when they were 32.2 million to 15 point six million in 2002 but since then the, they're growing strongly and they were 124 million in 2006 and expected for 07 142 million uh, revenue c compound annual growth rate since 1998 has been 37.9% and the industry average is just 23.7 uh, but this is uh, growth from 2005 levels uh, gross, gross margin is 44% for EXM but that can expand to, to 50 or to 50 percent or more because it was 71 percent here in 2004 and 69 percent in 2005 and the industry average is 53.6 percent uh, in terms of price to sales ratio our company seems a bit expensive when compared to the industry as you can see here uh, okay let's move on in terms of earnings per share and, and net margin well the the company has been very profitable here since 2004 when it had 2.75 dollars of uh, profits per share and in 05 3.64 dollars in 06 we had uh, this profit decline to one dollar and 56 per share but now analysts are expecting the company to earn two dollars and fifty three 407 and 2073 408 but I believe this can be a lot more because because revenues are much higher now than what they were in 2004 and 2005 and if they achieve those kind of uh, gross margins and uh, net profit margins uh, earnings per share can be much much higher than this uh, so uh, what do we have here net profit margin in 2000 and and expected for 07 is 36 percent but i expect more than this and the price to earnings ratio considering 2007 
earnings per share is just 10.4 and the industry average is 14.5 so by, by this measure EXM seems undervalued uh, considering my valuation model well uh, perhaps I, I, I've been overly optimistic here when I consider 60% net profit margin this was just too much because let me see let's go back on this where is it Okay. Uh, since uh, I saw here 62% and 57%, I consider 60% po as possible going forwards, but uh, perhaps that's too high. But, well, anyway, with with this 60%, uh, the stock is very attractive. As you can see, I expect it to to rise 36.8% a year on average going forward and with this the optimal selling price would then be 43.52 and do, I, I, I believe with 50 it would still be very attractive so I like this stock on a 1 to 10 scale I give it an 8 thank you